What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're gonna be doing is showing seven-year-old Bryce how to throw a cast net. How, what we're gonna be utilizing is the triple load. If you don't know, it's one of the easiest ways to throw a cast net. So easy that even a seven-year-old can do it. You ready to do it? Let's go. Right now, I'm doing my loops, which is, you have to have it big. If you do it little, it, you're, you're gonna have more rope to do. So what I'd like to do is I got to do this. Okay? These are small loops. You don't want those. You want these. So now, now I'm gonna grab the horn and push it up, okay? And I'm gonna put that with the rope. Now I'm gonna bring it down as far as I can and drop the horn. Now I'm gonna grab it all the way up here. Like, see this little do thing? You do want that. Now I'm gonna spread the net out, just like this. I'm gonna put it on my shoulder. Now, with this inside web line, I'm gonna put it all over my legs. So like right there. Now I'm gonna grow up under it. Why don't you show them the secret? What's the secret, Bryce? The secret is a pinky. Well, a lot of people forget that. And I got the pinky. Now I'm gonna grab all the rest of my fingers on this and now you're loaded. But then you have to flip it over so you can do this back and fro. Okay, Ready? let's show them how it's done. All right, everyone, you heard it from Bryce. Now you're gonna hear it from me. So this is how I like to throw um, a cast net as well. I utilize the uh, the triple load net. Uh, that's really good, Bryce. <laughs> the cast net I've got here is a uh, 12 foot uh, Barracuda flats model, 0.8 pounds per foot. So it sinks fast even on the flats and it's super light. That way, if you gotta throw it more than once, uh, it, you don't get worn out. Now, how I like to do it is I'm a right-handed thrower. So I'm gonna take this loop, I'm gonna lock it over my left wrist just like this. And if you listen to Bryce, you like to do uh, nice long loops. And the way I do it is arm's length, like this. So I'm gonna arm length, I'm gonna wrap it over my hand, another arm length, wrap it over, arm length, wrap it over, arm length, wrap it over. I'm gonna do that until I get all the way up. The horn. So I've got all the lines in my left hand. I'm gonna grab the horn, and again, this is a 12 foot net. And I, the way I'm gonna hold it is I'm gonna only have to put two parts of the net in my hand. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna run my right hand all the way down, and I'm gonna split it in half. So after it's split in half, I'm gonna let go of the horn, and the horn's gonna fall. Okay? After that, now I'm gonna split the net right about at my waist length. As you can see right here, right at my waist, this top area is gonna fold over. So now I have all the net in one hand. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta start my first third that's gonna go over my shoulder. So what I like to do is go from my thumb and my pointer finger, I'm gonna reach out, I'm gonna start walking the net out. I'm gonna walk about a third of the net. I'm gonna pull it out. So here's the real tricky part. I'm gonna go under my elbow, and on my shoulder. So I'm gonna show you that one more time. It's gonna come out, again, from my thumb and my pointer finger. I'm gonna take the net, I'm gonna walk it out, hold it here, I'm gonna go under my elbow, and on my shoulder. That's my first third. Now, what I need to do is I need to split the rest of this net up in, a, in, in another third. So the first thing I do is I stick my right knee out. The reason why I want to stick my right knee out is so I can split the net and have one third here and one third there. What you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand and you have two lead lines right now that's hanging, that's coming off your shoulder. You want to grab 
the inside one, not the outside, the inside one. And you're gonna split it in half. When you're new to um, throwing nets, you can kind of just split it over your knee and split it in half. That's, that's the easy way. After you get a little bit more advanced, you can split it and fan it. For me, on a 12 foot net, when I fan it about four times, it's usually a pretty even split. After that, I let it drop right over my knee. So now I have a third on my shoulder, a third over my right knee, and the other third in between my legs. So the next thing, which is a family secret, is the pinky. What I do, I take the pinky and I lock it over the lead line, just like that. And I keep these fingers free. After these fingers are free, I'm gonna come under and grab this first third, or the second third, excuse me, that was over my right knee. So now I got one third on my right, or one third on my shoulder, one third in my right hand, the other third in my left hand. Now I'm ready to go. Some of the things that people uh, do wrong is they'll kind of push the net towards them and go back. You don't wanna do that. You wanna push it out in front of you and let it go back behind you. Let's see what we can do. That's how you throw a 12 foot cast net. Got. All right. Now you've seen how we've done it. So Bryce, how do you like it? Um, pretty good. Um, you know my dad does the best. I don't really do the best. Well, thank you guys and for watching this video. And um, yeah. What do they need to do? What do they need to do to this video? They need to hit that like button, don't they? And you need to hit the like button. Subscribe. And turn on the bell and hit that notification bell and for everybody out there that is just so afraid to throw a seven foot or a 12 foot cast net just to let you know the boys over here at barracuda got you covered we even got uh, six inch cast nets for all you guys that are out there that are a little afraid so get out there get on the water and let's catch some bait see ya